video thank you for joining your here let's solve this problem we are finding the values of x here and uh, we can take this x raised to power 4 to this side such that we have x minus 3 raised to power 4 then minus x raised to power 4 then equals 0 left here which we can rewrite in another way and say this will be x minus 3 squared then all squared as we know that this 2 power multiplies and we have back x raised to power 4 then minus same thing here we have x squared then all squared then equals 0 this one too will give us back x raised to power 4 and there is an identity we need to use here which is difference of 2 squared when we have a squared minus b squared this will give us a plus b times a minus b so when we apply that here we can say this will become treating the first one here as a so we can now say we have x minus 3 squared plus x squared so that's the first case then times x minus 3 squared then minus x squared which is equal to 0 then when we solve this further here now we can simplify what we have in each of the brackets and this will give us expansion of this bracket here give us x squared minus 2 times x times minus 3 that's minus 6x then plus 9 because 3 squared is 9 then plus x squared so we have simplified this bracket same thing here we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 then minus x squared then equal to 0 so from there now we can simplify further and say here we have x squared plus x squared this will be 2x squared then minus 6x plus 9 and uh, multiply by on this side x squared minus x squared cancel out then we have minus 6x plus 9 which is equal to 0 and when we look into this either of this has to be 0 for the product to give us 0 so we can let's first equate this one to 0 and say minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 or we can have that 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0 then on this side when we solve here we can say this is 6x equals to 9 because when i take minus 6 to that side become plus then we arrange now we have this so that means x here will be equals to 9 over 6 which can be reduced as x equals to when we divide by 3 that's 3 over 2 so this is a solution to that problem and let's check the other one too here from here we can say we have when we solve this quadratic equation now that will be x equals to minus b and b is minus 6 minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of b squared b squared that's minus we have minus 6 square then minus 4 a c a is 2 then c is 9 from there then all over 2 a 2 times 2 because a is 2 then we have x equals to this is plus 6 this is 6 plus or minus square root of Minus 6 squared, that's 36. Then minus 4 times 2 times 9, that's 72. Then all over 4. 
and from there this will give us x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of minus 36 over 4 and minus 36 here we can bring our square root of minus 1 which is i and we write it as x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 i over 4 and square root of 36 there is 6 which is can be written as x equals to 6 plus or minus 6i over 4 and 2 can go here that is we can say we have x equals to when 2 goes that 3 plus or minus 3i over 2 2 goes here so we have this solution as well when we break it down one is plus and the other is minus Thank you for joining us and do well to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.